But first, this noontime developing news on the breaking news we brought you first at noon yesterday. Elaine Yates, now 69, is facing charges accused of taking her daughters from Warwick 32 years ago. She's been living in Houston, Texas with her daughters close by. Eyewitness News reporter Jared Pliner is working the latest. He joins us live with the West Bay Mobile Newsroom. Julian, good afternoon. That's right. Elaine Yates, who changed her name, by the way, to Liana Wahlberg, appeared very briefly here at Kent County Court. She entered a not guilty plea on account of abduction of a child prior to a court order, and now she will be headed back to Houston, Texas. Because, as you mentioned, what was a big case 31 years ago, state police say, then Elaine Yates took her two very young girls, Kelly and Kimberly, from Warwick, away from their father, Russell Yates. It was August of 1985. State police believe. Elaine left because of a domestic dispute. The daughters now in their 30s. They have families of their own acting on a pre Christmas tip. Officials went to Elaine Yates's home in Houston, arrested her Monday. The magistrate barred cameras from the courtroom today. Here is court spokesman Craig Berkey on that, as well as a childhood friend of Elaine Yates. He told me he felt it was not in the interest of justice, that uh, this is a family that needs to heal, and he did not want to exacerbate the situation with uh, a, a host of cameras. She left for an excellent reason, believe me. So I wish she could have stayed free. So again, the magistrate allowed Elaine Yates, a.k.a. Liana Waldberg, to return to Houston on personal recognizance for the purpose of living and working there. She does have to surrender her passport to the Texas Rangers, and the magistrate added she does not have to appear back here in Rhode Island for some upcoming hearings unless he specifically orders her to do so. We'll have much more of this uh, as we continue tonight on Eyewitness News starting live at 5. For now, live at Kent County Court with the West Bay Mobile Newsroom, Jared Planner, Eyewitness News.